My name is Gerald Jackson Jr. I'm practicing saying my name loud. Growing up, I could never say my name loud for some reason. It just didn't roll off the tongue. So I, I, I kind of put a lot of practice. Don't forget the junior, because my father will see this. <laughs> well, when you say, how did I end up here as in Washington, D.C., or how did I end up being 31 years old, still alive from Chicago? Well, right now, currently, I'm a professional in the world of information technology, specifically in the design area, user experience, UX design, and I'm also a professional basketball player. And I'm happy to say that, because I think, you know, we come from this era where you have to pick one or the other, and I feel like I was on the cusp of something new, like a long time ago. So I was using the defeat the day term back in like 2012, 2013, going into 2014. Um, to be very, very, very honest, I never heard of the word anxiety, depression, none of that stuff until I was like 26. I just remember telling my mom, yo, I'm about to drop out of college. She like, what? We, we on student loans, we on Sally Mae. And I had a semester with like 21 credits, literally 21 credits, right? And I had a work study job and I was training for basketball. Dude, when I tell you I had to just like tell myself something, that's how Defeat the Day came about. I would tell myself Defeat the Day. I would put it on my story, Defeat the Day. Like I didn't know the meaning to other people. For me, it was just like, I literally have to take it one day at a time. I personally, I got a long laundry list of all the times God has shown up in my life. And I'm living right now prayers from last year, the year before last year, the year before. I'm living it right now. So I'm here because I've survived one of the most scariest times on my mental health journey. Because we all have a mental health journey. And so sometimes people hear that and they're like, what's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong with me. We all human. So I just want to show how, you know, I'm getting through these tough times, how I'm defeating my day. And I want to tell my story because I feel like at the end of the day, if I don't tell my story, my narrative, from my perspective, who else will? And I think a lot of times we wait on like this, this golden uh, moment, this million dollar moment, and then we want to tell a story, write a book. And I'm like, nah, like, I'm patting myself on the back now. I'm proud of the person that I've become. Or I'm proud of how far I've made it. And I'm proud that I haven't lost my faith. And so that's why we here.